going to be crazy. I mean, both these players, but both these characters play super well on this stage. I'm definitely excited to see how we do here. G-Extreme versus Gen. Game number one, Defend the North 2022. Let's get into this. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely start getting into this matchup right now. And starting off, Palu, uh, Jen, just taking taking the, 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 the long range road because we don't want to get up close and personal with Pikachu as we see in GX Stream very, very efficiently just right now. Take in, take that lead, take that uh, advantage state of being so close. Yeah, exactly. I mean, G Stream starting out super clean already. 52% on Jen right now. Nice getting that down tilt into dash tag. Jen trying to get back here. It's just fighting against this Pikachu on the ledge. It's really hard to get back. Like How like the one option you have off the ledge there is kind of like forward air. But Pikachu can really just like duck under that. Or if you shield that, you get a hard call out on that. And G Stream just has you in the ropes again. Oh, You're absolutely right, but here we go. Uh, once again, G-Extreme taking the high road and going in with a lot of these really close combo f uh, traveling nares that Pikachu has at disposal. There's that dash attack off the platform, and now we're waiting for Palu's teleport recovery options being a little bit limited to ledge. Grabbing, uh, grabbing actually, low pro I believe, roll profiling oh. Palu's grab, and there is that trade that we're absolutely going to be taking. That's how you do have that move. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, Jen. At 145, all this rage on Palutena. It's so hard to find these openings. Like, Jen trying to find a grab earlier, anything. G Stream going right through that 161. Basically, anything with Pikachu close it out. Trying to find that F tilt. Nice jump over that F smash there. Nice call out there from Jen. But he's doing such a good job of like keeping Jen on the ropes here. Like, Jen's really good once he gets in and he finds his damn, but he's not nice. able to get in right now. You get your jump called out, and you're already down the stock against G Extreme. Yeah, like I was saying, as like we were discussing earlier, Prowlu has such a difficult time with such small characters that it's almost it's almost impossible to really find your your groove against someone like Pikachu who can pancake through most of your high moves and low profiles a lot of things by shifting his hit or his hurt box, um, and also extreme speed, nair, uh, forward smash. A lot of these little moves are so imperative in Pikachu, Pikachu's arsenal. It's, it's difficult to come at them, you know. Mm -hmm. And once you get Pikachu control of center stage, just like right now, it, you, you give up that control and it's so difficult to take it back because of things like Quick Attack. Uh, basically phasing Pikachu through existence oh to come back to stage. Oh my, what a read! What a call, he's waiting for that teleport and getting the up tilt there. Uh, Jen finally finding that back throw, trying to looking for any opening to get back on the stage. Now you've given that Palutena that, that stage control again. This is a hard thing. Yeah, G-Train has to take us back, and he does just like that. Jen is getting a little too overzealous there. You give him stage control just like that, and now Pikachu's back in the range. He's back on, put you back on the ropes, and it's just finding that opening again. It's just so tough. Your Nair's not going to work out. You'll find that forward air there, though, and literally anything to try to take a stock and try to even up the stock count. Do something to get back in this game. That dash tag. Finally, not be it. find the reflect coming in to help Jen out a little bit to get that dash tag in going coming with Extreme, but it's unfortunately not going to be it. And once again, Extreme is in the is taking control of most of the, the middle platform or at least the, the main platform over here on Smash Small on, on Battlefield. However, yeah, uh, Jen is just struggling to enter the way that he is most comfortable as Palu. Oh, finally wow. with a dash tag. Nice dash tag, take it off from G Extreme. Jen down 80%. It's just like, I say like he could bring this back easily, but like, it's really gonna be, it's easier said than done. Like, Jen finally finally able to find a Nair. This is a Jen we know and love, right? Finally able to get an opening after a hard call on G Extreme. That's how you gotta play this matchup. You gotta get extremely hard callouts. You cannot play the normal neutral game because Pikachu is not going to give that to you. This is, this yeah, is not a normal character. Using Reflect to, uh, to bypass the T-Jolt is super smart and actually catching the the uh, quick attack with Efto super smart on his behalf and also a very good call out um, and reading where it, Extreme was going to be going. Now again, I'm loving that Gen kind of slowed the situation down a little bit to not allow himself to really come into Pikachu's space that he's looking for. Using Reflect once more to reflect the T-Jolt but not getting anything off of it. Back to stage we go, attempting to get for a, le a ledge trump but not getting anything. Oh, Jen looking to close the stock. Nice call out on the back here on the platform. Jen looking to close this out relatively easily. G Extreme coming back with the Nair. Very good stuff. Uh, challenging that on the ledge. Nice. There we go. Dash hack once again. Oh, misses the grab. G Extreme trying to find anything to close the stock out here. And Jen, here we go. The Jen nice patting it down there. Okay. That's short, the hop. short hop down there probably is the Jen. We can't argue that. Oh my gosh. That might be the, the kind of ticket Ooh. we have to. Uh, to Counterplaying G Extreme just because how short Pikachu is, but right here we have the down smash taking go. it, and now we're back to an even game. Suddenly, Jen has really polished up his attitude, or well, at least polished up his gameplay very, very quickly in this very short game we've had so far. This game, just only game one as well. Exactly, man. I think 
the thing Jen really needs to focus on doing here, instead of like dealing with Pikachu in a neutral state, because you're not going to be able to find those openings easily with that. You're not able to find the Nair and the normal stuff, right? you got to just get those hard whiff punishes. Like you're catching the Nair dodge down, you're catching the quick attack in with the dash tag. And Jen's doing exactly that, finding G Extreme on that back pedal. It's easier said than done, but he's doing it. He already has the lead. He went all the way down, being down so much, he's getting the lead once again. Nice down nice. air to shield there. Once more, that short hop down air is doing wonders for Jen. And it's, it's, it's actually so fast. I, I think it's not really redactable from G Extreme's side to expect that to short hop down air to start a combo up for Jen. Oh, Jen trying to find an opening here. Some short hopping in the north, or full hopping as well, just to keep some distance and some respect in terms of Pikachu's space and, of course, his reach in the air. There's that down, uh, that's that that strike once again. Oh, nice using that to get through. Jen getting the punish on that. Nice DI from G Extreme. Get away from that down throw in the back air. Now Jen trying to look for anything. Nice parry. It's going to be that back throw. It's not going to take it. But now you've got Jen. Once you on the ledge once again. Look, he's like, oh, he goes with the counter. G Extreme stalling you out there. Stage. This was a flame. Nothing. We're having G Extreme struggling to come back. But maybe with the center stage control, we can take it right back with some Pikachu up airs as well as some Pikachu nairs, Pikachu fair as well. We'll all take a really good amount of. of, of give, G Extreme a good lead against Jen right now in order to secure this first game for himself. Yeah, exactly, man. Here we are. We're in the last talk scenario. G Extreme looking for that one single. He's trying to stay away from Jen. He's just waiting for it. He's just literally he's fighting back. He's like literally sitting on the ropes. Like, throw everything at me, and wow, that dash attack is going to do it. That, that literally throwing himself back, jumping back, and getting off the ropes with that dash attack. Very good stuff with Jen. Clutching out that game one. A very nail biter game. This is going to be a nail biter set if I've ever seen one, bro. This. This is the, the literally how adaptation works. And we were talking about earlier with Jen being a player who can mm -hmm. and will adapt the situation Jeez. almost in like in like the snap of a finger. That's crazy. I mean, look at Jen like holding on the stock here, like waiting for like this is, you can't play the I mean, oh my gosh, okay. Maybe G Extreme needs to learn through the set how to how to DI uh Palatine and Dash because it's getting a, a little crazy. I mean <laughs> regardless, we're going into game two. I mean, G Extreme is looking really good there. It's just that Jen is just finally accepting that, like, you can't play footsies with Pikachu. Because you're going to lose every time. Instead, you just opting to sit back and say, hey, I'm Palutena. If you throw the wrong move at me, I got to, I literally have a shield on my arm that says no. This is a big fat no. Stop no, that. No, stop. Stop mashing. Don't do that. Relax. We're having to go over on Smash Show instead of uh, our other picks. Of course, FD and Kalos were banned from, by, by Jen. So. G Extreme going Smashville is a pretty good option for Pikachu, I gotta say. You don't really see Palo mains go to the stage willingly as that often. And Pikachu mains can absolutely use that middle platform to their advantage and also use it as a, as a little house, you know, to protect them from a lot of Palo's inter interactables. That down are not there. taken, unfortunately. He was trying to find that opening there. Good stuff to Jen, still hanging on there. Now he's just trying to find the G Extreme Lackey. You're looking like he's using the back air, staying away from the T Jolts. He's literally just like avoiding the barrage, and once G Extreme makes a mistake coming in, he gets that punish with the dash tag. They're looking for a grab now, but moving that counter again. Nice. We're seeing, again, being thrown back, the patience being thrown back. Now G Extreme realizing what Jen's doing, giving him that patience that he had in, in his last set. I actually oh. love Jen's awareness from the, the quick attack, knowing that Pikachu is going to go back and forth and using that as a way to punish it by, with a dash attack. Has been happening a few times. Hopefully, G Extreme can actually recognize this pattern that he's giving Jen free, freely, you know? Jen once more on, lay, on the stage and actually gets the roll read that he was looking for the first time. The back throw taking it. What a very, very strong back throw on stage like, like Smashville, absolutely. Very good stuff. Oh my gosh, the, uh, the wall jump into four is not going to close it, but still very clean stuff from G Extreme. Nice spot uh, dodge there, catching the uh, habit there with the down smash. Jen's still very much in this game. He's looking at, he's like, he's getting hit with all this stuff, but like, he's realized, he's getting the, the habit slowly but surely. Like, he realizes what GX3 to be throwing out, and he's just waiting for his opening. He's like, very, very patient, though. That's what I love about John. He's such a patient player. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's unfortunate. Uh oh. Okay, he makes it back, but that was a little weird. Yeah, I, I was actually waiting for Jen to go for a uh, back air, but I think because of the low percentage, it wouldn't have been enough um, space for the back air. Oh. Some back with the forward air. Catching the jump, there we go. Still oh, a lot of Jen. Those. Wow. Jen, Jen's got a point to prove. This is crazy. That Jen's like, air. I'm not going to let a rat beat me today. And there's oh that back throw once more, not taking it, of course. But now we're at a disadvantage state where Jen is at the, at the ledge where he's oh, very comfortable. That and that's a really good bait from Jen. A little bit of fear factor uh, added as well. 
And there we go. Jen now off three stocks of one. That nice. dash attack is definitely going to do it. She extreme down a stock, but he's been able to even gain some good damage, gain some good combo game. It's just closing off these stocks and mixing up your your kills against Jen, right? Like Jen's literally just expecting all these moves at this point. He knows the dash pass is coming. He knows the dash attack is coming. He will find the one that last stock, but now he's literally just waiting for you to make that mistake. He's literally sitting there, like, okay. Hey, 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 come on, I know you're Pikachu, you know, you do your 40%, but oh my gosh. Here's these up air juggles, those Palu up airs you hate to see sometimes, but you love to see from Jen. Gonna go triple up air, no, we're going double up air, we're going into the nair, and now we're waiting our pa patiently. Now I'm loving the respect that uh, Extreme is giving Jen, but actually using the opportunity to, punch, to whip punish a lot of what Jen's approaches are. are. Oh, nice. Using that forward air out of shield. Nice and he's supposed to flame this way. The Gen Classic trying to find this. Then Daryl not able to find the S smash on this. Oh, just barely missing that. Going back with the down air. The Thunder is not going to take it. Jen still hanging on, clinging on to this. Tishri needs to take the stock yesterday if he wants to get back in this game. Oh. This there could we go. be something. The There's Jen coming back with the, with the Palu Nair. Opting to roll away from the forest smash. So wisely so. Oh. Jen going all the way out there. Nice dash attack mm -hmm. from J-Extreme. Nice attempt. Before he's going to call that. Oh, wow. Just barely missing the explosive flame. At 137, if she's going to be able to close the stock out now, he could be in a decent place. Jen trying to find the there end. There we go. Mm. A little too over Zeros there. Jumping there again. Now Jen puts himself off 2-0 against G-Extreme. G-Extreme, the thing about him right now, yeah. it's just like he's, he's already showed us all his combo routes, right? He's playing way too telegraph. He knows Jen's waiting. He's like, OK, I know Pikachu is broken. I know all these combo routes are really good, but if I'm expecting it, it's not going to work. Like, yeah, I'll take a lot of damage, and yeah, this will happen to me, but, like, if I just wait for that one mistake, all I need is one mistake, and I start winning it. Just make that one mistake. Yep. That's all that Slip that up extreme, one time, my boy. That's all that extreme really needs, but unfortunately, with Jen playing a little bit more precise and, and, and cleanly, it's going to be that much harder for Extreme to find Jen's weaknesses mm -hmm. as Clavaho he's playing Palu, especially if he's in an advantageous state like he was for our last two games, really, you know? Like, Jen's adapted. Now g has got to mix it up. Like, we got our Pika coming out again. This might this might be the... the, 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 the uh, I, I don't know what else is going on. there. <laughs> <laughs> might be We're a turning PS2 point. Game three. Might be a turning point of the century if, if g Extreme is able to keep this momentum going on a stage that favors Pikachu pretty well just because of its mechanics of being a larger uh, base platform. Gives Pikachu a lot of space to run around, gives a lot of time to, tar to do T-Jolts, and honestly, you can pretty much read where Paolo's going to go with her teleport on a stage like this, and punish it with like dash tag, or just do some up air juggles as well. Just like right now, Thunder not, taking, not even getting a whiff of Paolo's hair. Nope. See me out of there. Uh, Jen doing a very good job. Spacing out with those forward. Oh my gosh. He's literally playing. He's literally playing. Cloud. That's Cloud back here. Like, oh, stay away from me. He's zoning the Palutena around. This is insane. This, this is what Pikachu does to a man. He gets close to flame. Trying to find another one. He's not finding it. Oh, the outside. He's going smash. to take it though. Yes. Get There's too aggressive with that up B. Again, again, that quick attack is not looking so quick right now. Looking a little bit. It's going to look a little bit. Uh, I'm going to hit it with up smash. So. That's what Jen, Jen, Jen has been looking for the entire time, and finally is able to punish these quick attack recoveries that's a ledge. And maybe that might be kicking X, uh, G Extreme uh, into, into high gear to find a new way to you know, delay your recovery or, or op, delay recovery or mix up your recovery options as well. So now I'm looking at, uh, at G Extreme once again on ledge. Nothing on to punish Paulu just because Jen knows we're fishing for those forward, for those forest matches if we roll to a ledge. Exactly, Jen looking to find that down off the ledge. Nice the jab, jab there. It's not going to take it. That's a lot of damage. G Extreme looking pretty rough right now, trying to get back on and close the stock out against Jen. But Jen literally knows every, he knows a quick attack. The expect. Oh my gosh! Over his health, that down smash coming out. G Extreme is just literally becoming way too predictable at this point. It's not looking very good for him. And he gets a quick attack there. That forward air is not going to take an amazing DI from Jen, and he's just looking as clean as ever right now. Oh my gosh, he waits for that back throw. He's going to do it. G Extreme on his final. He's on his tournament stock right now. He needs to make something crazy happen. I was going to say, like you were saying, G Extreme has become a little more, a little bit predictable in, in Jen's eyes. He's been able to punish a lot of his approaches that he's been going for with dash attack or with up air or even with smash attacks uh, as disposal. So G Extreme has to start changing up his game plan as much as he can, or else we are about to see a three stock situation and a three zero situation. Oh. No 3-star situation, but 3-0 is still very much possible if GC doesn't start changing things oh up. Oh my gosh. Charging up down smash, smartly so, but just delaying the recovery option of quick attack uh, back to ledge. And now we're playing a little bit of neutral. We're, where are we going to go here? Down tilt. 
I know where we're going. We're, we're, we're going back on the grab. down throw in the back. Oh my gosh, okay. Nice air dodge of G Extreme still hanging on. He has he still has that fight in him. He wants to go he wants to go down into Blazing Glory or he wants to not go down at all. It's still definitely doable for him. But Jen looking as clean as ever right now. Still rocking that new sponsor tag. He's he's the new man. There's that Shorhaz Derek coming out once more. Love the way Jen's been using him throughout this, oh these, gosh, all the these counter. sets. And there's that counter. Oh, and they're not like that. running right into the explosive flame. Perfectly set up. Perfectly using, utilizing all of GC's bad habits that he has been falling back into in these really high tense situations. How poetic, right? Increíble. That's how it goes down. I mean... And last talk like this, literally, we're talking about the rap battle, and right the there, he literally, battle. he saw the cheese. He literally ran, he literally saw the trap, he got, psh, he's gone. Saw the cheese, that quick attack right into it, and there is that explosive flame still lingering for a hot minute. And unfortunately, that's the bad habit that GC was, was supp 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 supplying to Jen. Gosh, yeah, supplying yeah. to Jen. Um, and Jen just simply exploited exploit it with a very long lingering hitbox like and that's where it's a flame. This is that's that's the top player difference right there. Jen showing us why he's one of the, the best of the best. He, he's one of the best, right? He knows what to do in this situation. Like that game one was looking really close. He's like, okay, so I made a mistake. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. And literally he literally just decides, you know what, I'm not gonna I'm gonna stop losing. I don't really feel like keep getting I don't feel like getting comboed anymore. I'm gonna just mm -hmm. sit here and like okay, you're Pikachu. Come in. Okay, Come grab. In. You are going oh, you're to come that very no, horizontally. I'm mm -hmm. going to catch you mm -hmm. with dash tag no or flames. Very good. Oh, yeah, but we have up next Noko and Spoopy, correct? Yes, we have Noko and Spoopy up next.